Hi friends and welcome to part two of our lesson today. So today we are practicing a skill that we haven't worked on in a long time so I'm excited to practice it with you. So today we are going to be describing how characters change over time. Step one, what does the character want? Step two, what does the character do? Step three, how does the character feel in the beginning, middle, and end? Step four, how, do the, how does the character change? So today we're going to be practicing with our text, Henry's Freedom Box. We're going to do a question together trying to figure out how Henry changed throughout this text. But first, as always, I'm going to show you how I follow my steps. And we're going to do that using our book, Lucky Beans. So this is a text that we read in our online learning a few weeks back. For my friends that did not get a chance to do this read aloud with us, I'm going to quickly go over what this text is about. So this is a fiction text about our friend Marshall. He's the main character. And Marshall is just sick and tired of having beans every night for dinner. But then he realizes that he can win a sewing machine for his mother because he knows that his mother really needs a new sewing machine. And he knows he's able to do this by winning a contest that a store is having by guessing the correct number of beans in this jar. So the way he's able to do that is he's able to work with his mother and do his own research looking at different jars and trying to guess the amount that are in these jars. So both him and his mother together are able to figure out almost the exact number of beans in the jar. And for that reason, they're, they win the contest, and they win the sewing machine, and then they also win a lifetime supply of beans, which is kind of a funny part in the story. So the lesson that Marshall learns is that he learns he should be grateful and not complaining about having to eat beans every night because it was his knowledge of beans and his mother's knowledge of beans that helped them win the contest. So he learned to be more grateful. So now that we have reviewed what happened in this book, I'm going to follow our steps to try to figure out how our friend Marshall changed throughout this text. Step number one, what does the character want? We know that Marshall in this text, we learned right from the get-go that something that Marshall wants the most in this text is he wants to be able to win the sewing machine for his mother. So he wants to win the contest and correct the correct amount of beans in the jar. Step two, what does the character do? What Marshall does to win this contest is he does a lot of work, a lot of research, looking at different jars in his mother's basement and working with his mother to try, try to guess the correct amount. And he's able to successfully do that. Step three, how does the character feel in the beginning, middle, end? So in the beginning, we can tell that Marshall is really annoyed that he has to eat beans every night for dinner. We have it right on the first few pages of the text. He says that he really started hating beans because it's all his mother could afford to have for dinner every night. And then we know by the end, Marshall, because they won the contest, he ends up being really grateful for his mother's knowledge of beans and the fact that they have beans every night because it's this knowledge that gave them the contest win that allowed them to win the contest. So step four, how does the character change? How does the character change? As I had mentioned, the character change and the lesson learned are kind of similar in this story. Uh, Marshall changes because he learns that he should be grateful for the, th for the things that he has. He should be grateful that his mom has dinner for him every night. And he should be grateful that his mother is so knowledgeable about the beans because it's that knowledge that helped them win the contest. So now, friends, we're going to practice together with our text that we've been reading the last couple days, which is Henry's Freedom Box. So let's go ahead and follow our steps and try to figure out how Marshall, excuse me, not Marshall, that's Lucky Beans, silly Mishmansky how Henry changes in this text. And I'm gonna need your help for this question. Step one, what does the character want? I want you guys to think, what does Henry want in this text more than anything else? I'm gonna to flip to a page that might be kind of helpful for you in figuring out what he wants. And I want you guys to answer to yourself or the person next to you. What does he want?
Yes, friends, so on this page we have Henry talking about how he saw the bird in the tree, and that tree, the bird reminded him of being free. We know throughout this entire text all he wants is to be a free man. That's all he wants. He doesn't want to be a slave anymore. Step two, what does the character do? I want you guys to think, what does Henry do to try to become free? Take a look at this page, it might help you. And then answer out loud to the person next to you or to yourself. What does Henry do? We know he wants to be a free man. He doesn't want to be a slave anymore. What does he do to try to be free? So taking a look at this picture, friends, we can figure out that Henry decides to ship himself in this box. He decides to send himself in this box to Philadelphia. That's something he does to try to make sure he becomes a free man. Step three, how does the character feel in the beginning, middle, end? What do you guys think? How does he feel in the beginning? I'm gonna pull up a page that might help you. Thinking about this part in the text, we know that at this part, Henry's family was just shipped off. They were sold elsewhere, so he no longer had his wife, he no longer had his children. How does he feel in this part of the text? Just knowing what you know about what happened in the text and looking at his body language and his hands, how do you think he might be feeling in this part of the text? Yes, friends, you can tell based on the way he has his hands in his face, it looks like he's crying. And we know that his wife and children just left. And it said that he, um, he went to work and he did these things, but he was not happy at all. Everyone he, who he had loved had left him. So he was very sad in the beginning. And then by the end of the text, I'm going to go ahead and flip to the page. And then I want you guys to think, how does Henry feel at the end of the text? Just look at his face, his body language. This is when he becomes a free man. How do you think he's feeling here? Yes, friends, here he's very happy. He's so happy to be a free man. N now that he's no longer a slave, he's so happy. You can tell based on his smile and everyone else's smile in the picture. So putting all these clues together, how does Henry change in this text? Step four, how does the character change? So we know in the beginning, in the very beginning, one of the first sentences, the author tells us that Henry is a slave. Yes, Henry is a slave. But then we know by the end of the text, on the very last page, that after traveling in this box, Henry is a free man. So Henry changes throughout this entire text because in the beginning of the text, he's a, a slave, and by the end of the text, he's a free man. So in the beginning, he's enslaved. By the end, he is free. That's how he changes in this text. Great job, friends. Okay, now it's your turn to see how you grew your brain during this lesson. Friends, I need you to log into not only Google Classroom today, but I need you also to log into Raz Kids. You guys are going to be reading a book on there. I already have the link set up onto Google Classroom if you click the link on there. Everyone in second grade should have a username and password given to you by your teacher, so now is your time to log into Raz Kids and follow this link. You're going to be reading the text called Different. So you can either read the book to yourself out loud once or twice, or you can have the book read to you. If you click the little button that looks like headphones, then you can have the text read aloud to you. Either way, friends, you're going to go into Google Classroom, click that link, log in, uh, read the book different, either have it read la out loud or read it yourself, and then you're gonna go back to Google Classroom and you're going to answer this question. It sounds like a lot of steps, friends, but I know you guys can handle it. So go ahead and read the text different, that's in Raz Kids, and then you're going to answer this question. I'll quickly read it to you. F, how does Henry change in the story different? 
Remember, we did all these steps about how characters change. I'm going to hold up the steps as I read the question. How does Kevin change in the story different? At first, Kevin doesn't like the boys, but at the end, they are all friends. At first, Kevin likes Joey, but at the end, he thinks Joey is mean. C. At first, Kevin is excited to see the boys and play with them, but at the end, he realizes they are mean and defends Kevin. D. At first, Kevin doesn't like basketball, but at the end, it is his favorite sport to play. Looking at our steps. What does the character want? What does the character do? How does he feel in the beginning, middle, end? And how does the character change? All right, friends, make sure you read that text different and answer the question in Google Classroom, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.